Prime here at San Diego Comic Con 2017 at the Marvel Hasbro booth with Bobby and Tony. How are you guys doing today? Great, man. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, you guys enjoying the convention? I uh, love it. Every year. Oh, excellent, excellent. I gotta apologize to the viewers because my microphone broke. So we're doing this raw right for you guys into the camera over here. And I want to get, I, I gotta first say that you guys are both killing it. I've been a huge fan of the work. Like, just overall. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever see my reviews ever, but sometimes I have nitpicks and things like that, but that's a lot smaller than the geek outs I've been having getting been, my new figures. You've been a lot kinder to us you these have, days, and, and well, I think it's because the product is showing that. Right? You guys have been very kind to me. You guys are making me geek out, get really happy with the figures, Good, so yeah. it's like, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm loving what we've been seeing. We have those vehicles out there now, which is awesome. We have the retro figures. Either we're doing something right or you're getting soft. Yeah, it can't be both. No way. <laughs> but um, but I have a question, and uh, I have several questions for you. Uh, my first question is, we haven't seen any uh, cinematic X-Men Marvel Legends figures, and I was kind of curious to see if it was possible that we would ever see any kind of Logan uh, figures or anything like that from the from uh, the X-Men. I mean, with the move, uh, the cinematic figures, we never say never, especially when it comes to X-Men. X-Men's super popular. You see how great our X-Men waves sell. Yeah. It's just one of those things that it's all about a lot of factors. It's timing, it's what's right for, for Legends, what's right for the brand, and things like that. So it's not a door we're shutting. It's not something we're not looking at. It's something we're always going to be looking at because we know how much you guys, fans, want those figures. We want them too. So when everything is, when all the stars are aligned, everything comes together. You know. So you want to, but at this time you can't really. It's, kind of, it's, not, a, it's not a matter of you can't or won't. It's just everything has to be right for us to go so down. It's another that. thing on the table, right? Okay. All right. I I'll accept that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I have yeah, I know I have no choice. I demand a better answer. Oh, you got the hammer. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. With the, I'm loving the vehicles. We saw the Black Widow earlier in the convention. Now we have the Hell Cycle. We have we have a Ghost Riders motorcycle. Um, are we going to see even more vehicles? I mean, we saw the Vulture build a wing set and everything. Are we to expect more vehicles, especially with some of the some of the things we've been seeing in the displays over here? So. I'm kind of curious to know where this road is going. This uh, is, yeah, go this, ahead. this is our first assortment right now, so we're gonna see test the wires with this. Uh, they're 40 bucks for uh, the bigger vehicle, so hopefully people pick up on it and want to see more. We definitely want to do more. So we're just, this is just our first wave of assortment, so hopefully it does well. Ghost Rider and Black Widow are two strong characters to lead with, so there's so many options for vehicles. Yeah. So it's basically up to the consumers. Buy them. Yeah. yeah, yeah so buy them. So, okay. I am, do good reviews. <laughs> hey, the reviews are going to be good or not. Good. Whether or not the figure is good or not. Okay? <laughs> Don't put it on the reviews. Oh, look out. Yeah. All right. Speaking of uh, Lookout, we have these retro Marvel Legends uh, packs, which I think is a very cool move. I like seeing these retro toy biz packs. I'm curious, is it possible we see something like this for clamshells, like the Toy Biz Marvel Legend retro clamshells for these Hasbro figures? That would be pretty neat to see, actually. Like, it's kind of like with, with the, the X-Men uh, figures. It's kind of one of those things. We'll look into it. We think that it's right for it. Yeah. We love the retro packaging. You know, we did it on the order uh, 66 uh, pack for Amazon. But, uh, and then doing it in Legends, it, it looks so awesome. So I feel like that's something that if, if it's successful, you know, it's just like the riders, we're gonna try it out and people love it and they want us to do more and, and then sell them well and that, that's a road we'll go down. So I think that, that everyone will like them. I think they'll do very well. And maybe in the future we'll see them more. Excellent, all right, all right. I hope to see those, hopefully that works out. And then um, we've had some remake characters in the past, right, with the Emma Frost. Um, and then what's another recent one that, that we would see? Uh, we've seen, well, kind of, with, I, I almost feel like the Dark Phoenix Cyclops 2 pack is almost kind of like a redo for that Green Phoenix figure, right? Because I mean, you guys are obviously sending a message like, oh, you can take that head and put it on that figure right there. So uh, are we expecting any more of that? We gave you uh, Namor as well. Yes. And, uh, yeah, that's because true. of uh, 
mainly because of you and your review on uh, the Blue Panther. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharnus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends tour review on the Marvel Legends Blue Panther. Oh, okay. I've given you Black Panther now. With oh, that right. Green, uh, yeah. Panther. Oh, okay, so awesome. I took your feedback. We always listen. Excellent. Uh, to right all right fans and we Thanks. try and incorporate all that stuff. So we're always looking to improve stuff. And if it's something that we have done before, we can improve it, put it out again. People want it. That's what we're, we want to do it. Awesome. Yeah, but we also like that new stuff too. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. we don't get stuck in the past, but we do like revisit, revisiting. It, yeah, it, it, it actually shows a lot of heart on your guys' yeah. end because you guys, when I see that, I see that as artistry. Like, oh, that's kind of like taking the eraser and doing a little correction almost and just, oh, okay, and then, you know what I mean? That's exactly what that is. We're all human yeah, beings, yeah. right? Yeah. We're all human beings, so. Yeah. Um, our, now, articulation, I always ask for articulation. I, I would love to see more articulation, especially, especially with the six-inch legends. Bobby Spence, you work a lot on the 12-inch scale figures, and I've seen tour articulation on those. I'd love to see tour articulation on the six-inch figures as well. Also, I'd love to see double-jointed elbows on the female figures, which Hasbro has done before, right, with Domino. That you guys made that figure, and she had double-jointed elbows, and you just gave us a brand new Thor figure. It looks like we're seeing it. Is, is the Black Widow a new mold? The Black Widow is a new mold. Without yeah. double-jointed elbows. Yeah, single, single elbow. Yeah, so so it looks like it's is this a thing that will just never happen? Never say never. I'm saying we're never gonna do it. It's kind of one of those things where if we feel it's right for the figure, we'll go look into the like that. Like I'm a huge fan of double jointed elbows. I mean, look at this dedication right here. If you haven't seen that already, so uh, yeah, <laughs> so that speaks for itself right there. But what about you, Tony? Huh? Do you really want double jointed elbows? <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it, Where's your tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, it's more of a balanced aesthetic. Uh, sometimes it's a female form. Yeah. On the elbow, sometimes it breaks it up a little bit too much. But with men, it's like the kind of bigger bicep and forearms. There's a lot more breaks that you can kind of hide that articulation in. Yeah. So we kind of try and find that balance of aesthetic and articulation. And we're just trying to make this nice figure as we can. So it's, it's a matter of preference, I think. I will say this. We are trying some new techniques to get a better range of motion with the single elbow. Uh, we've learned some things from our partners over at Star Wars. They're doing amazing things with female arms, and they're getting almost a full double joint range of motion with a single thing. So, we're kind of taking that learning, we're applying it also. I did kind of do it in the, the, the Black Widow for the Rider, so you are going to get a wider range of motion with that, that single elbow joint than you would in Pathfinder. So, we are looking at giving you a better range of motion by keeping that balance in the start of the set. Awesome. Well, hey, well, I can't wait to get the figure, so I'll, I'll remember this. I'll, I'll remember this when I get that figure. Um, any, almost 10 years ago, we've gotten the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Stan Lee Spider Man set, right? The San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I think that is the only action figure from Marvel Legends that we have that is an actual human being, right? A real person. If we're. If we're Mary Jane, we, we did Mary Jane this year, too bad. No, 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 but an actual. Real, like, oh. real Real life oh, human, sorry, a real life. living, okay, breathing you. human, right? You. Sorry, yes. If we were to get another human being, an action figure form, who do you think should should uh, so shard? I was going to say, are you guys going to shard? Obviously, shard. Is that that one? Yeah, I mean that's my answer. That yeah. goes without saying. That's I mean, we all want to see the Shardness Prime action <laughs> figure, of course. I mean, but but after Shardness Prime, who should? I mean, Stan Lee is the icon of yeah. Marvel Comics. Uh, well, I can't really. A lot of people have said Glenn Webb. I don't know if you guys, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn Webb. Yeah, yeah. He's another Marvel Legends reviewer. But he's not with us oh, anymore. Oh, so a lot of people. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, a lot I of people. Apologize. Yeah, so I had to throw that out there. Yeah, yeah. What do you do with Dwight Stahl? Dwight Stahl figure, right? <laughs> My vote is actually a Jess, uh, for Jesse Falcon. Jesse Falcon. Wow. That great figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the question is, it should be 2017 Jesse Falcon? Should be a 2008 Jesse Falcon? Okay. See, I was gonna 1996 go. Jesse Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, late 90s Jesse Bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and then, um, and I like both of you guys' answers, the shortness prime. So. Um, and, the, and then, last question Have you guys ever considered accessory packs? I love what you guys have been doing with the accessories. You guys have been bringing in all these effects. You see more and more interchangeable hands. I would, I would, I would definitely be willing to drop change on 
will not change. Good money on a good accessories pack with, uh, with something like maybe like a drum set for Spider Wind. So I play the drums, and it's just like a person plus the mind, just like you know, throw that in the you know the suggestion box. You know what I'm saying? But accessory I mean, pack. Yeah, I mean that's something we're always looking into because yeah. we know that the more accessories better. You can't have to. Uh, we try to push as much as we can with the mainline figures, swappable hands, swappable heads, power guts, but you know, if we can do it and it works for us, it's something we're definitely going to get to. We're not going to you know, overlook that because it's such a great idea. We know that the fans want it. Okay, so. So it's on the table. It's, it's, it's something that comes up a lot. It's just a matter of finding the right spot for it, finding the right kind of venue, almost yeah, or something sure. like that. But we're always looking to make new power effects and make these things a little more exciting and dynamic on shop. Yeah, because so, it really looks like you guys are leading in that direction, like with the yeah. Phoenix and Cyclops 2 pack. Like, oh, yeah, so, that little uh, Phoenix uh, Morris. Yeah, yeah, the little, the little birdie and the extra yes. heads and yes. all that stuff. Yeah, really good. Then, yeah, so I'm not going to ask you guys about specific characters, but I do want to see a Marvel Legends cinematic vision really bad. I know you guys I know you guys have thought through all that stuff. It's not even worth my time asking for specific yeah. characters because I know you guys are thinking about it, right? We've got a bunch of Avengers yeah. movies coming up, right? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, so that's like all that stuff is on the spots for it. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are thinking about all that stuff, yeah? You know, yeah. You know what needs to be done. We know what we got to do. So we can give it to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Tony, Bobby, thank you guys so much for your time here at the Hasbro booth at San Diego Comic-Con. 2017.